Welcome back and joining us for a look at the day's market moving news is Tamsang Laneta from Shiloh Capital. Thank you so much for your time, Tami. Uh, the JSC extending those losses, but really, I guess what we should be looking at here is the RAND uh, because that's really what um, prices in risk uh, ahead of an election and, of course, uh, what could uh, where we could see volatility after the election. But it really has remained stable and, dare I say, strong even before those elections. Yeah, I think uh, the economic future of South Africa can be scenario planned to some degree. So if you're an investor or yeah, you are holding uh, ZAP or for, as part of your FX portfolio, you can to some degree scenario plan. And when the, uh, when, the, when the outcome arrives, you can then make decisions on what you need to do. I think the, the bigger shift will be around the JSC itself. Uh, as we saw today, a lot of the mining counters were done. It's yeah. how typically the, the country will, will react to whatever will happen going forward. Everyone is bracing for some form of uh, change, um, but we'll see on Friday and Saturday. Uh, all right. Well, a, a company that says that it is looking out for any risk uh, that could come about uh, due to the national election is Pepco. So the company released its interim results there. Uh, when you look at the numbers, we did see uh, revenue growth on that front. Also widening of its gross profit margin, but that growth didn't filter through to the bottom line. We did see a decrease there of over 3%. What did you make of the numbers from the retailer? I think the biggest one for me was the, the fintech side. Yeah. Um, I think there was a big surge in their fintech business, I think almost 25%. Uh, it surged in revenue, almost $6 billion. I think that's a part of their business that's really um, going to do well going mm -hmm. forward. Uh, as a retailer with, with a large footprint of that nature, uh, yeah, they are going to have to use that footprint for more than just selling uh, goods and services. I think the more they use that footprint for ancillary services, which mm -hmm. they've figured out how to do, they're going to have better results and more ba a more balanced portfolio. Uh, unfortunately, the retailer yeah, uh, is an indicator of the consumer. And if the consumer is not doing well, the retailer won't do well. However, if you have other line items or other revenue uh, areas, much like the fintech business, I think they're going to do well going forward. Yeah, it's really quite interesting and I guess quite encouraging to see their diversification strategy here. I mean, usually when you talk about uh, businesses diversifying to fintech, you usually look at MTN and Vodacom, but it's, it's also really encouraging to see that filtering through to the retailers as well in such a difficult environment for uh, consumers. Well, Tammy, there's also other news that we've got uh, today. I think, actually, I had you on Stockwatch when we had this announcement out uh, that Vukile and uh, I think it's New River were uh, bidding for uh, capital and regional on the JSC. Uh, and then Vukile comes out with an announcement today that actually they will not be uh, making a bid for capital and regional. I guess, of course, that gives room for New River to come in. What did you make of that decision by Vukile? I think the opportunity set just no longer existed. I think mm. the error they made in doing this deal was not talking to Growth Point initially. And they are a very large shareholder. Um, they are decision-making shareholders, so it was important for them to have that conversation with them first uh, to, to, to sort of gauge their appetite before making the offer. Uh, once the largest shareholder is out of it for whatever reason, uh, it becomes a difficult transaction to do. And any transaction of this scale, especially listed, in, it's largely based on strategy rather than the metrics. So you have to have conversations with the right shareholders who should be on your side when you make the offer mm -hmm. so that when you do, you have the right approvals, you've got the right support. At this point, uh, growth point, for whatever reason, is not ready to do a deal or is looking for a better deal. Okay. And they then have to have a conversation with them uh, prior to making another offer if yeah. they do come back. Uh, all right. Well, what do you think is a good deal right now, your stock pick for today? Stock pick is uh, Shopify. Uh, they've refocused onto their high-income software again. They've sold off their uh, in-house logistics business. And I think they're getting primed to, to offer great subscription solutions uh, and will continue to grow in uh, other markets. So I think Shopify will do well, and that's my stock pick. Ah, all right. Well, thank you so much uh, for your time, uh, Tammy, and enjoy uh, election day uh, tomorrow. Uh, that was Tamsang Neta from Shiloh Capital.